Morning, everyone uh, from uh, the UK. Um, yeah, my name's Dan Salmon. I'm the uh, chair of the technology working group within the Accor project. This is going to be very, very condensed. So uh, feel free to uh, contact me and I'll send you all kinds of uh, follow up information. So the mission of the Accor project is to build high quality libraries and frameworks that generally set at the intersection of law and technology. And uh, the requirements are really driven by the Accord project members. And uh, we, we help the members incrementally move from unstructured documents, which is where most of them are today, so think Microsoft Word, to more structured documents backed by data models and optionally computable code. Um, and we're trying to facilitate the emergence of a commercial ecosystem around these open source libraries and tools. And we also help our members experiment with uh, deployment on SaaS, mobile, blockchain, and other operational environments. Uh, there's a little bit of background noise, so if you wouldn't mind muting, that would be great. Um, it's a very active project. Um, as I said, everything that we do is Apache 2 licensed. We have uh, approximately half a million lines of code now. It's updated daily. We tend to release weekly or so. We run an active Slack and we have two uh, calls um, per week generally. So we, we would encourage you to get involved. We're a very friendly bunch, um, kind of pragmatic. We build stuff that we think is generally useful to the community. And we're doing it with a whole bunch of uh, partners and members uh, that are really interesting intersection of, of law and technology. Um, that's where the good stuff happens, right? When you get the technologists talking to the lawyers and we get some cross-pollination. The major projects that we run are uh, Cicero, which is our templating system. So this is all about how do you bind natural language uh, via data models to computable code. Uh, and Ergo is a, a domain-specific language that, uh, that we've built. Um, it's formally verifiable. It's a functional language. Um, it's a, a blockchain agnostic language that at the moment compiles to either Java or JavaScript for execution. And then we also run a bunch of uh, kind of uh, ancillary projects, um, including some user interface projects that help people consume this technology, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, the core of what we do is, uh, is a template. Um, so you can see the corners of the template, there's a, there's a data model. Um, so that's a concerto data model. Meng hopefully just showed you one. That's how we describe formally the structure of the concepts that you're going to either reference in your natural language or write code about. There's the natural language itself, which obviously could be in you know, French, German, uh, English, you name it. And then the, the computable logic, which is written in Ergo. And different sides of this triangle serve different purposes, but the model really is the key up at the apex. And uh, quite shortly on the 6th of June, we're going to be running our first uh, pretty major conference um, at the brewery in London. Um, so if you are in the London area, I'd enc encourage you to go to accordprojectforum.com and uh, you'll see lots of interesting presentations from uh, various Accord project members. And without further ado, I've got just a little bit of time to show you some code. So here I am at uh, studio.accordproject.org, where you can browse some sample templates that have been developed by the Accord project members. And uh, let me just quickly take you a tour through one of these. You can see each. Template has contract text. You can test an instance of that contract. So uh, in this case, it's a very simple one. And I can change the parties of the contract. You should see the JSON at the bottom updates. So the Accord project technology um, generates a parser that can extract data values from, uh, from that natural language. Um, it's backed and defined by a data model, which it's kind of an internet scale data model. We're importing model elements that have been published to various URLs. And we model the messages that we're expecting to send to this uh, contract from the outside world. 
and the responses that we're going to return to the outside world. And then finally, we can optionally write some ergo logic, which is the computable code. So this is this functional domain specific language that allows us to uh, process requests um, to produce responses and uh, optionally emit obligations between the various contracting parties. And you can test all of that within this user interface kind of interactively as you, uh, as you develop your contracts. And I think I'm out of time.